And joining us now is Stephen Moore, an economist with the Heritage Foundation. Uh, Steve, good to have you. Thank you for joining us. So your Hi, thoughts, your thoughts on Jerome Powell's 60 Minutes interview. Do you agree that it's going to take a vaccine to bring back the economy? Well, obviously, Jenna, we all hope and pray we do get that vaccine and sooner rather than later. But no, I don't agree that we have to wait until we have that vaccine. We are seeing treatments. We're seeing a lot of states opening up uh, in the last few weeks, states like Georgia and Florida and Texas and Tennessee. And Jenna, the good news is those states that are opening up have seen actually a bigger decline in their death rates and hospitalizations than some of the states that are shut down. And so that what it, that is showing, I think, for all 50 states and all 50 governors, is there's ways to get this economy up and rolling again and businesses up in operation and uh, American workers back on the job without jeopardizing their health. So we're going to have to take some smart and prudent steps uh, to get the economy up and rolling. And we're going to have to do that even before we have a virus. But I w there's nothing any of us would like to see more than a virus that would eradicate totally this terrible disease. Yeah, no doubt. Well, the Fed chair, he also said we won't get back to where we were quickly. Steve, do you predict a V-shaped curve or a U-shaped curve? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I'm more on the U-shaped curve uh, line of thinking where we're going to see a really bad summer. Because as you just mentioned, we have 35 million, 35 million, that's a terrible number, isn't it, Jenna? 35 million Americans who've lost their jobs. It's going to take a, a number of months to get anywhere near, uh, you know, an unemployment rate that's even less than 10 or 8 percent. So I, I predict the summer is going to be very tough on Americans as we start to get our, our footing again. And then I, I'm predicting that by the fall, we'll start to see an improvement and some uh, light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully by 2021, we'll see a really robust expansion. Remember, it was just two months ago, Jenna, you remember this, we talked about it. We had the best economy ever. So we want to get back to that kind of uh, high growth, high prosperity engine that we had. And I think Donald Trump can do it, but it's going to take a little while. Yeah. Uh, today, White House advisor Kevin Hassett said a fourth stimulus package might not actually be necessary, touting a lot of that, that same optimism. Steve, do you agree with what he said? I would like to see a payroll tax reduction, a suspension of the payroll tax for the rest of the year, precisely for the reason we were just talking about, Jenna. We need to provide a little juice with the, into the economy. And why not do that by letting every single worker in America get a 7.5% pay raise for going back on the job? And then why not reduce the payroll costs of the small businesses? Uh, that would be a nice stimulus to the economy. Do it through the rest of the year, and then we can go back to the normal system of taxation. Uh, but if they're not going to do that, I mean, Pelosi's bill is a disaster, a total disaster for the economy. It, it stimulates and, simula and uh, encourages more unemployment. It, it pays, you know, bankrupt cities and states for their pension problems. No, we don't need that. So I would rather do nothing than have a massive government spending bill, which, by the way, we've already spent $3 trillion. Jenna, $3 trillion we've already spent. We don't need to spend another $3 trillion. Yeah, a lot of money, big price tag. All right, Stephen Moore with the Heritage Foundation. We have to leave it there, but it's always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna. Have a great week.